On this episode of the Modern Travel Legion podcast, I share seven ways to maximize the impact of your site inspections. Number one, plan the site inspection in advance. Don't reach out last minute and say, oh, by the way, I'm in destination and I'd love to see your resort. It's really difficult for them to say no, but asking last minute will add a ton of stress for them. Their schedules are insanely busy and you never want to start a relationship off by giving them the impression that you don't respect their time. And of course, you have to try your best to be on time. Number two, you want to make sure that you connect with the person showing you the property. On a business level, it's great to have a reliable contact that can assist you and your clients should you need anything. If you've ever seen their email inboxes, it's actually pretty insane. You're ultimately competing for attention with a million other people, and the better your relationship, the more likely your request is going to get pushed to the top of their email inbox and answered. And of course, on a personal level too. Obviously, you want to be respectful of boundaries, but this industry is full of incredible people, and having personal relationships makes our jobs that much more rewarding. I recommend connecting with them on social media as well, because you might not see them again for another year or more, but if you're seeing them every week on social media, you can continue to grow your relationship. So the next time you see them at an industry event or on property, you won't be starting over from scratch. It'll also give you plenty of things to talk about the next time that you see them. If you can take a picture with them during the site inspection, then you can share that on social media and tag them and the resort. Number three, Make sure that you ask the right questions during your visit about key selling points, about occupancy levels, about the restaurants, bars, kids clubs, nightlife, exchange privileges, and any unique on-site or nearby experiences. You don't need to know everything, but you need to know the key selling points that set this resort apart from other resorts. I recommend asking them who their key competitors are as well, not just to understand the class of resort, but because this often gives your contact at the resort an opportunity to explain how they're different from their key competitors. At the end of the site inspection, you should be able to answer, why is this resort special? How is it different from its competitors? And who exactly is this resort for? Number four, take notes. In the moment, it's going to be easy to remember all of the information, but the second you leave the resort, you're going to forget all the nitty gritty details. The number of rooms or room categories, capacities for the event and wedding venues. You have to make sure that you take notes during the inspection, either on a notes app or Google Docs something in the cloud that makes it easy for you to take it with you on the go. Number five, you wanna make sure that you get content to post on social media and to share with your clients online. Whether that's pictures for a Facebook photo dump, landscape video for YouTube or Facebook, or portrait style video for Instagram Reels and TikTok, you have a great opportunity to share your trip with your followers and potential clients online. And when your clients ask you about the beach or the pool at the resort, you'll have videos to share with them, which not only helps move the sale along by providing more information, but it also helps you build credibility as an expert. You can also share this content and information with other travel agents and the travel agent Facebook groups, which not only helps strengthen the community, but it strengthens your brand inside of the travel industry. Number six, be sure to follow up your site inspection with an email. You want to make sure that you thank them for their time and that you continue the conversation of how you can partner together. For instance, if you're doing destination weddings, you can request a sample quote for the size of the weddings that you typically sell, as that'll give you an idea of the approximate starting point for a wedding at that resort. That follow-up email is also a great time to discuss commission, benefits, and special promotions or offers if you have not already. Don't be afraid to ask for special concessions or perks, as you never know the different ways that you can partner with the resort, especially for weddings. And of course, again, be sure to thank them for their time. Number seven, eat a meal while on site. This isn't always possible, but if you can set up a lunch meeting with someone on their team, that'll give you a great opportunity to eat at one of the restaurants, which is another important piece of information for your clients. It's really hard to characterize and understand a resort when you haven't eaten there or seen the service at the restaurants. Again, this isn't always possible, but it can really help round out your knowledge about the property. So to summarize, plan the site inspection in advance, no last minute requests. Connect with the person showing you the resort, ask the right questions during your visit, take notes, get content to share with your clients and other travel agents, follow up with your contact to thank them for their time and discuss important details for growing your partnership and eat a meal while on site if possible. That's seven ways to maximize the impact of your site inspections. This episode of the Modern Travel Agent Podcast is brought to you by our partnership with Palladium Hotel Group. With over 50 hotels worldwide and 16,000 rooms in Mexico, Dominican Republic, Jamaica, Brazil, Spain, and Italy, Palladium Hotel Group offers great resort options for vacations of all kinds. Palladium Hotel Group has a wonderful team of business development 
development managers eager to help you learn more about their resorts and how you can partner with them to offer your clients incredible experiences. I've included all of their contact info in this episode's show notes.